Welcome to my channel where I'll be reviewing the new Trophy Titans Hero Freddy Lundberg card that's come out today and my gosh it looks very nice especially with that dynamic image but let's have a closer look at the card itself then. So he's had a work rate change which is good, high, medium, not really a fan of medium medium at the end of the day. I find they tend to be a bit more static on the pitch when you need them to attack and stuff so that hopefully will come in handy in game. He's still got the same skill moves and weak foot, so he's still four star, four star, so nothing too bad there, realistically. Same positions as his other cards left mid, right mid, and left wing. No new player traits on him, but looking at his in game stats, so he is just a plus one over his World Cup card, and in terms of his stats as well. There's nothing dramatically changed about the card. It's just had the slight upgrades with 1s and 2s across the board with stamina going up by 3, which is the highest increase on any of his in-game stats. But then when you do look at those in-game stats, like he's got pretty good dribbling. However, 82 composure, I do think he deserves a little bit higher, to be fair. Passing isn't too bad with the 86 face stat and then pretty much nice greens across the board there. Shooting as well on probably I would say the four critical in-game stats. Attack position, finishing shot power and long shooting isn't too bad. Volleys obviously is a little bit lower but I do have a hunter on him so that does get that up quite nicely. Pace isn't really too much of an issue especially since like I say I've got a hunter on him so that's going to be at maximum so yeah there's not really a lot i can necessarily pick up here uh other than maybe obviously with attacking players i know a lot of people tend to like having high agility and balance on their players and also with also team of the season literally right on the horizon as well i don't think there's longevity within this card looking at the stats but here is the team that i'm going to be using him in as you saw I ha on the stats, I have used him in two games already because that was part of the Burkamp review, but I wasn't really focusing too much on him. So I didn't notice him too much other than he missed a volley in that one game, but he did have basic chem style on him in that game. So maybe this time out with the Hunter, he might score. Let's get into a game and see how good Lundberg is at this stage of FIFA. Oh, go on then, Freddy. You're nice and open there. Let's try and work you into the box. Nice. Get around the defenders. Ah! That's... No, that's Van Dyke. Oh, God, my arch nemesis in the box. He's making a good run. Go on, continue to run, Lundberg. Okay, never mind. That was trying to go to Kaka, that pass. All right, here we go. Use that pe burst of pace. Try and get past Van Dyke. Go on, then. Across the goal. Ah, Lafont's got that. Ooh. Where's Lundberg? Ah, I see him running into the box. And that is a much better volley. Although, that was a straightforward one. But he gets his first goal. Getting himself into that box using that work rate. Nice. Uh, it, it was a nice attempted pass from Lundberg. Not as elegant as Burkamp was. And again, you see, lovely work rate in comparison. Comparison to a Burkamp. He's on the edge of the box. He's he's starting that counter attack. You see, Freddy with his work rate. He wants to start the counter attack. He's done it. Get past the defender. Go across. Go ah, all the defenders got back. It was a good valiant attempt at starting a counter attack, though. Go on then, Khan Lundberg. Nice pass to Messi. Come on then, Lundberg. Where's you running this time? You're not running in. Oh, go and set that up. <laughs> I mean, easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Get a goal. Take that. All right, go on then. Let's see if you can pass the ball successfully. Yes, you can. Can Messi not disappoint? He doesn't this time. He gives Freddy his assist and gets the goal. Go on then, Lundberg. Nice. Between the defenders. But Lafont saves. Is he inside the box? I can't see him inside the box. Oh god, I think he's defending. I think Lundberg is all the way inside my own half. Oh god, he is. 
All right, fine. Let's see. Go on then, Lumbo, from the halfway line. No, he got pushed over by Phillips. Oh, yeah, no. Virgil, it's always Virgil, isn't it? To be fair, it's always going to be hard to beat Virgil. But he got the ball off of Virgil. Wait, is that not a free kick? Virgil just fouled me, in my opinion. Go on. Go on, Messi. Lovely! A double assist between Lundberg and Messi. Come on, then. It's Lundberg versus Van Dijk again. Ah, oh, Lundberg's got the better of him. And it's not quite a hat-trick of assists to Messi. Go on, Lundberg. Go on. That's it, to Bale. Bale, no, 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 no. Should calm down a little bit here. Go on and counter-attack. Lundberg, come on. Go on, Lundberg. Yeah, it's on the counter-attack. This guy's gone all out. Full one pressure and we get the break. Yes, it might be a boring ass counter-attacking goal, but it's a goal nonetheless. Can he get another one over the top? The counter-attack. Oh, Atal, that deserves a red, but as always, it's a yellow. There's the final stats with Lundberg. Man of the match performance. Two goals, three assists. He was involved in every single goal. Final thoughts and feelings then on this card. So, the work rate change has definitely helped improve this card overall. He definitely felt like he was making a lot more runs. Like in comparison to the Burkamp video. I definitely felt like this guy was actually wanting to attack and play for the badge. When on those attacking phases. Passing wise, okay. Didn't feel as silky as some of the other cards that I've used in, in my teams uh, over this FIFA and lately. However, I definitely feel like this card is going to stay in my team. And I was using Luis Diaz's footballer's card. But I definitely think I'm going to choose this over him. But I do think longevity is just the main probable issue with this card. Because once team of season's here, especially once you get into the Premier team of season. Maybe not so much with the community team of season. But once you get into the main top five leagues and stuff. And even some of the sub leagues. There's just going to be very much better options in here. I think the only maybe plus side with this is because he's a hero card, he offers a bit more flexibility with getting into a team because you don't have to worry about getting him onto full camp in comparison to other people. So that's maybe one slight bonus and also price at the moment. Like he is not that expensive, which is a little bit surprising, I would say. Like, he is currently 43 and a half thousand coins. I just don't get it. Because with the stats of the card, like, I would have put this card into maybe at least 200k in terms of value. But I just guess he's going to be one of those fodder cards for the promo because it's just heroes and icons. So, EA will probably just hand him out. Like, there's just no tomorrow. During the promo. So, I mean, I'll take that for the Arsenal past and present. If I can pack a first Arsenal player on that account, that would be great. I think it, for value, the flexibility that he gives for teams, I just think that on its own is worth trying him out. Especially if, if you're probably going to be packing him, let's be fair. But that is going to be it for this player review. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye, guys.